Let us pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. I'm now going to read some prayers that uh, Barbara Bashford has uh, kindly written for us. So let's continue in prayer. Psalm 34 verse 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Heavenly Father, help us, like David, to be able to say these words even in difficult times. We thank you for your immeasurable love shown at Calvary. Thank you that Jesus was willing to pay the full price for our sin so that we might know forgiveness, freedom, new life now and the certainty of heaven to come. Thank you that we have a gospel that gives certain hope in the face of death. Thank you for sending your spirit to show us the wisdom of the cross and we pray for those around us who don't yet understand who Jesus is and why he died. Amen. This past week has been a week of prayer organised by the Christian Institute. The following are a few topics suggested by them. We pray for our country and others around the world coping with the COVID-19 outbreak. We do ask for an end to this pandemic. We pray for our Prime Minister and others leading national and international responses. We pray for the key workers and emergency services on whom we depend. You might like to spend a moment on your own or with whoever is with you praying for members of family or friends working in these areas. We pray for Christians who work in politics and positions of authority that they would act as salt and light. We pray for the safeguarding of the sanctity of life and ask that lawmakers and wider society would see the unborn, disabled, elderly and infirm as valuable and in need of protection. And we pray for gospel freedom, that Christians will continue to feel free to speak out with grace and truth. Amen. Next a prayer for our mission partners and those who we know personally serving the Lord overseas. Lord, we do pray that you would encourage them in the different stages of lockdown that they find themselves in. Please help them to keep their trust in you and growing in their own understanding of your word. Help them to find ways of reaching out effectively with the gospel in these difficult and different times. And please help them to see fruit in people turning to Christ. Amen. Finally, we all know family and friends going through really hard times at the moment, either due to COVID-19, worry about finance, waiting for hospital appointments after lockdown, caring for children at home. The list is immense. Please take a few moments to pray for people you know and those in the church family who have been recently bereaved as we're unable to mention those names on the internet. And we'll close with Paul's confident words at the end of Romans 8. I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, 
nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Many thanks, Barbara, for writing those really helpful prayers. Now, our next song that we're going to sing is a new song. It's by Keith and Kirsten Getty and some of their friends that they've written uh, together. It's a really fantastic new song called Christ, Our Hope in Life and Death. And it speaks about the wonderful, amazing hope that we have through and in Christ. Something which our Bible reading that we're going to be looking at speaks about as well. <laughs> 